Surah 3, 54 says, And they, the disbelievers, schemed, and Allah schemed against them. And Allah is the best of schemers. And some translate it as plot or plan, devise, best of devises. But the Arabic term is actually defined as deception. He is the best of all deceivers. For example, in this lexicon, it defines the Arabic word to mean to practice deceit or guile or circumvention, practice evasion or illusion, to plot, to exercise art or craft or cunning, act with policy, practice stratagem. And here, Surah 554 is referenced as containing this Arabic word. So, if Allah is the best of all deceivers, why would you trust Allah's word? Right? To, to really prove my point, that Allah is a deceiver according to the Quran, is Islam's view of the crucifixion. It says in Surah 4, 157, that they said and boast, we killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, but they killed him not, nor crucified him, but so it was made to appear to them, and those who differ therein are full of doubts, with no certain knowledge, but only conjecture to follow, for of a surety they killed him not. In other words, this proves that Allah made it seem like Jesus was killed and crucified. Now, what does this mean other than the very definition of deception? We know that billions of people throughout human history have believed that Jesus of Nazareth, the Messiah of the Jews, was killed and crucified. He died publicly on a Roman cross. This includes agnostic scholars, Jewish scholars, unbelievers, non-Christians. They know historically that Jesus of Nazareth was killed by crucifixion, by order of Pontius Pilate. It's a historic fact. Agnostic scholars, Jewish scholars acknowledge this as a historic fact. So what has Allah done? He has deceived billions of people into believing that Jesus was killed by crucifixion when he was not at all. You can't trust Allah and you can't trust his word. If the Quran calls him the best of all schemers or the best of all deceivers, and this is a clear example of his deception, not just a few people. He didn't just deceive or scheme the 12 apostles into believing Jesus was killed and they were willing to suffer and die for the fact that Jesus had died and rose again. He not only deceived the 12 apostles, the apostle Paul and the early Christians, but throughout human history has deceived billions of people into thinking that Jesus died by crucifixion. This is a very clear example. You as a Muslim cannot trust the Allah of the Quran, the Allah of Islam. You cannot trust his word. How do you know that you are not deceived as well? If he deceived billions of people, what if he also deceived billions of Muslims? A deity that deceived billions of people into believing Jesus had died by crucifixion when in fact he didn't die by crucifixion but was rescued by Allah. How do you know you are not deceived as well? That should concern you. How can you trust anything that the Quran says, the so-called eternal word of Allah? You cannot trust it. Because anything written in the Quran is now subject to this deception. What if it's all lies? What if it's all fake? What if the whole Quran is a deception from this so-called God? You see, the greatest of deceivers in reality is Satan himself. Lucifer who can disguise himself as an angel of light according to scripture. How do we know it wasn't Lucifer who revealed himself to Muhammad? 
the evidence, in fact, points to that very thing. How can this angel who tortured and tormented Muhammad, and he was afraid and he tried to kill himself, how can this be God? Or how can this be the archangel Gabriel? This could have been Lucifer disguised as an angel of light. Now I urge you to repent and give yourself to Jesus, because Jesus himself predicted that he would suffer and die and be crucified. You can't turn Jesus into a liar as well. Jesus prophesied that he would die by crucifixion. He prophesied that he would rise from the dead. And he did exactly what he prophesied. If you regard Jesus as a true prophet of God, then you must believe what Jesus said about his crucifixion and resurrection from the dead. Luke 24 says, And they, and as they were afraid, and bowed their, down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you, when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. Now I... I implore you to remember his words as well. Jesus, the Son of Man, predicted his suffering, his death by crucifixion, his resurrection on the third day. Believe your prophet. Believe that he died and rose again, as he said.